Hi, this is Britta, and I did my the book I read was Brooke Gladstone's The Influenza Machine. I've been a longtime listener to her NPR show on the media, so I was interested in her perspective on the consumer side of the media producer consumer relationship. Uh, the number one text to world. Uh, connection for me was um, All the President's Men. The text itself does elaborate on the Watergate scandal and the role that the press played in revealing that to the public, which was huge, and how it set up um, this new perspective of what the role of the President of the United States was, and that it he wasn't put on this pedestal, but he was a human. And now, potentially she, um, the president, is a human that can make wrong decisions and what um, ramification that has for the public's view of the role of president in the United States. So All the President's Men, the movie that covered the context of um, Carl Bernstein and Carl Woodward uncovering the Watergate sandals, a favorite movie of mine. So that is my number one text to world Connection. Um, in terms of text to text, uh, the book also covered that Was George Washington, the first president of the United States, made the first big political leak in the American press. And um, right now, as of this week, uh, WikiLeaks revealed a bunch of emails from the DNC, particularly from the DNC chair, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and that has resulted in her resigning from her position as chair. Um, However, uh, what the book doesn't get into in George Washington's leak is the means of how this information was leaked. Uh, the WikiLeaks has been rumored to have come from Russian hackers, and I think there's huge ramifications in political leaks in examining the means to which the press obtains this information and what that means for overall information security, both as consumers, from government, and from the media perspective. I think there's a lot of questions that we're going to have to ask ourselves about um, at what point, at what cost do we want to obtain information. Um, my main text to self connection was in regards to the chapter uh, at the very end called uh, I, Robot. Uh, touches on the singularity theory that very soon, potentially 2045, our information, our knowledge is going to bypass biological storage. And so it'll kind of surpass our own mortality and that our information does not need to be held and absorbed by human beings in order to be passed on or continue to grow or be built upon. And um, to me, that feels very like postmodern dystopian in its theories. And it has a lot of questions on what it means to be human and what is based in our humanity. Because for me, this collective knowledge that we all have that we have to share with each other in order for it to continue is a huge part of what it means to be a human uh, in this day and age. I would definitely recommend this book to future uh, students in this course. It helped me with a broader understanding of media literacy. I think a lot of our previous texts focused on media literacy as like a modern problem, but this book, The Influence and Machine, gave a historical context and however media has been consumed, there always has been the struggle to be a conscious consumer and a deliberate consumer of media and having that knowledge and gaining those tools has just been a constant struggle uh, since the printing press. So I would definitely recommend it, even not in this course, but uh, it's a presented in graphic novel form. So it was a really entertaining read, even as like a beach read, I think I would recommend it to my friends. So there we have it. I enjoyed the influencing machine and I highly recommend it. Thank you.